you guys, you know, from from the jump, were were in the game, led the game for a long time. What did you think, kind of, of your guys' effort as a whole, you know, against obviously obviously what is a very good team? Yeah, good effort. Uh, we started out great. Uh, we know they're one of the best first quarter teams in the league. They start off fast, get the crowd into it, and that's when everything can go downhill. But we did a good job of just matching their energy and you know playing hard to the end. So it was a lot of positives, but. You know, still a lot of work to do, and we have got another game against a undefeated team tomorrow. So we just gotta try to get that one for sure. Cam, I know it's easy to point to just you know a player, a shot like Horford's three, but I mean, big picture, um, they outscored you guys like twenty to seven you know, in terms of off of turnovers, transition off of turnovers. Um, was did you find that to be a big? deciding factor in this game, especially, you know, letting Jason Tatum get downhill after doing a good job of bottling him up for much of the game? No, because we was right there. Um, just a few possessions at the end, one on my part, didn't see the clock, took a shot clock violation. So I think if I saw the clock there, it would have been a different solution. But, I mean, they did a good job of, you know, running on their turnovers. We know they like to get on a run on their turnovers and get the threes up. And that's what, you know, can really kill the other team's confidence when you get turnovers and threes after threes after threes. But I think we did a good job of guarding from the three. And obviously, you know, Jason's a good player. Um, can't really keep him up, bo can't really keep him bottled up for long. He's going to find a way to, you know, make an impact on the game. But I think we did a great job on him, honestly. So we just got to, you know, stay with it and just look at the positives from it. You guys really feel like you outwork your opponents on most nights. Do you see that as just you guys buying into Jordy's message? Is that a player-led thing? Is it responding to people doubting you enter the season? Just like, what do you attribute it to? Because it feels like a different com difference compared to what we saw last year. Yeah, just buying into what Jordy is, um, you know, trying to instill in us in our, you know, in the culture, just outworking opponents, being connected really just playing together as a team. So it was really, really embody embodying what Jordy is preaching. And, you know, we all got to buy into it. So it's really from buying into what he's saying and us buying in as a group and playing for one another. So I think it's um, a little bit of both players and coaches. So.